Uh, I was asked to talk about um, basal-like breast cancer and triple-negative breast, breast cancer and the pathology of those. I'm a pathologist. Um, I was asked to, to describe the characteristics of these tumours um, and their relationships. Um, it's a merging field of uh, cancer biology and breast cancer biology um, where uh, the, the so-called basal-like cancers have been identified using uh, very modern molecular technology, um, which is quite complex and difficult to apply in routine clinical practice. Um, and so clinicians have been looking for surrogate ways of identifying these tumours, alternative ways, uh, based on um, the information they have in their routine practice. And so the concept of triple negative breast cancer has emerged because those tumours are identified or can be identified using routine tests such as hormone receptor staining, and they're negative for those, and HER2 staining, they're being negative for those. So those tests are done routinely on most women's breast cancers, so you can use that information. So I was trying to describe the relationship between uh, the gold standard methodology using complex molecular techniques and the more simple method that you can be applied in clinical practice. Um, as a pathologist, my interest is um, in translational research, and that is taking research from um, the bench, from basic science and sort of information that's emerging from scientists, uh, and trying to translate that into ways that we can use in the clinic setting. Um, so, uh, and as a pathologist, I focus on the tumour biology. So I try to learn lessons from emerging science on, on breast cancer biology and then see how we can use that to improve our classification of breast cancers uh, and then pass that information on to the clinicians dealing with uh, patients with breast cancer so they can improve uh, the, their treatment. And so one of the things that our group has been um, instrumental in doing is developing uh, a grading system for breast cancer which is known as the Nottingham system which is now widely used and endorsed by the WHO. So we have a track record at translating things. But I'm always looking for new aspects of tumour biology that uh, can improve our classification systems. And that's why we have an interest in basal-like breast cancers and triple negative disease because it's, a, it's an important area of breast cancer. These are aggressive types of tumour. My conclusions are that um, with these tumours, there's a strong overlap between um, basal-like breast cancer and triple negative. About 80% of cases are the same. Um, but if clinicians are using the term triple negative breast cancer to define basal-like breast cancers, they should be aware um, that not every triple negative breast cancer is a basal breast cancer and vice versa. Uh, and uh, these are, in general, the, the true cases that are basal-like and triple negative are very aggressive tumours that probably merit aggressive forms of treatment with um, uh, potent forms of chemotherapy. Um, but if you don't have one of those, but your cancer is triple negative, you could be inappropriately given very aggressive forms of treatment because there are some forms of triple negative breast cancer which are quite indolent. They're slow growing, they don't spread, um, they're best treated by surgery alone and they don't need chemotherapy. So the patient will only get a side effect from chemotherapy and the side effects from very aggressive forms of chemotherapy can be quite uh, severe. So I was emphasizing the fact that if you are using triple negativity to, to identify these tumors in your clinical practice, you need to do that in a very intelligent and informed way um, to make sure you don't do inappropriate harm to your patients by offering unnecessary chemotherapy for the small subgroup that aren't aggressive.